I want you to imagine this. You get a phone call or an email and you open it and you see, congratulations, you have been offered the position. And guess what? It's a project management role. You had the vision, the dream, the idea of transitioning to project management a few months or weeks or years ago. And finally, it has happened. And today, it's your first day on the job. You get to meet your colleagues, you're assigned your project, you're looking through, you know, maybe the project chapter or depending on the state the project is in, you're looking through your project management plan and you're just excited. Like, come on, it's time to live the life that you have dreamed. Won't that be lovely? Of course it will. In this video, I'll be sharing three things that you can do successfully transition to project management. And trust me, it's not what you think. <laughs> hey there, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Ugaga Johnson and I help aspiring and established professionals to launch and grow successful project management careers. And on this channel, I share everything about a career in project management, including life lessons from my project management career and business. So if you're interested in project management, in growing a career in project management, or in transitioning to project management, then click on the subscribe button and let's learn together. And if you're already a subscriber, then high five. Thanks for joining me on this learning journey. So like I said, in this video, I'll be sharing how to successfully transition to project management. And I'm going to be sharing about my CSV principle to excel and successfully transition to project management. Yes, pun intended, CSV to excel. <laughs> okay, so C stands for courage. In order to transition to project management, you have to be courageous. C, you don't have to be confident. I said it, you don't have to be confident. Because if you're waiting to be confident about the decision you've made, you're waiting to be confident to actually successfully transition to project management, you may have to wait a long time. All you need is just the courage, the courage to take the first step. Yes, the courage to say, you know what, I've made up my mind, I'm going to transition to project management and I'm going to take the first step. That is all you need to transition to project management. I know it could be daunting, it could be overwhelming. See, it's like most things in life. When you're about to start something new, you may not feel too confident. You may not even feel confident at all to start, right? So for example, when I started this YouTube channel about three months ago, I wasn't confident. <laughs> no, in fact, I had so many questions, so many what if, what if, what if, what if. But see, here I am today with the utmost rare privilege of being able to communicate and speak to you today and encourage you to just start, start your journey. And if you've already started your journey towards transitioning into project management, then continue, press in and stay on this journey because you will achieve this dream. Don't give up, just take courage and take it one day at a time. It is possible, it is possible. The next thing in my CSV principle, S. S stands for skill adaptability. In your journey towards transitioning to project management, one thing you need to do is do a skill audit, okay? What that means is you're gonna map out all your existing skills because let me tell you something, your existing skills right now are valid. You can leverage them in your journey towards transitioning to project management. No, they're not a waste. You can use them. So what you need to do is map out the skills you have which ones are relevant for project management, right? Put those ones there as a checkbox and then find out what additional skills do I need in order to ensure that I have the skill set, I'm equipped and I have all the assets I need in order to transition successfully to project management. Now, those skills that you identify, the next thing you need to do is to start developing them. And one thing I need to tell you today is that there is no skill that you cannot learn. Every skill can be learned. So don't be discouraged. If you find out that you don't have maybe communication skill is not effective, or maybe it's the team leadership skill you need to develop, or maybe it could even be a technical skill you need to develop. Just map out 
how do I plan to acquire that skill, to develop it, and to be, you know, at a good level in terms of confidence level with that skill? Find out how to do it and then go ahead to do it. So in this journey towards transitioning to project management, you need to be willing to unlearn and relearn. Okay, so skill adaptability is very important. Next is a V in the CSB principle, and the V stands for vision. So you have done the skill mapping, you have the skill sets, now you're going for interviews. You know, I've heard so many people tell me that they don't know what to say if they re reach out to a recruiter, because people always say when you're job searching, reach out to the recruiter for the role. Now, in case you're in this you know, scenario, I have something that you can always ask a recruiter. Ask them about, you know, why is this role open? You want to understand what the vision for this project management role is. Yes, the job description, the job ad could give you an insight into what the vision is, but you need to understand fully, you know, even if it's not in depth, but at least the good understanding of why do they need a project manager within this organization now? What's the vision they have for this project manager? What value, you know, do they want this project manager or project professional uh, to deliver? Why do they want a new personnel within the organization? Understand the vision for the role. Understand the vision for the roles you apply for because it will help you understand what skill sets are needed, what skill sets are essential in order to deliver on the vision for the role. It will help you know what value you are to bring and to help you prepare yourself adequately for that interview. And then once you land the job, you know, on your first 90 days of the job, because you already have a vision of what that role entails, you already have a vision of what the value for that role should bring, you are able to quickly, you know, get your feet, you know, on the ground running and deliver value for them to start seeing the value for your ire within the first 90 days. That's what you need to do. Okay, so vision is very essential. And even in the role of a project manager, when you're managing your project, you have to be vision focused. You know, what is the vision for this project? What do they want as the outcome? And ensure that you are driving and you're leading your team in order to achieve that outcome so you can fulfill the vision for the project and for the project management role. So I want you to say this with me, say these affirmations with me. I have courage to start and to continue in my journey towards transitioning to project management. I have the ability to learn any new skill and to adapt my existing skills so that I can be fully equipped to function in the role of a project manager. I am able to understand the vision of the role of a project manager and of my projects. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I want you to know that you can transition to project management. Do not give up, keep pushing. And just like you imagined at the beginning of the video, very soon, very soon, it will be the first day of your project management role and I know you will do well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and please like, share this video to encourage others who are on the journey and maybe on the verge of giving up. Use it to encourage them to continue on their journey because they can do it. It is not impossible. It is possible and they can achieve it and start living the life that they truly desire and deserve. Thank you for watching and please feel free to check out my other videos and learn more about transitioning to project management.